Hey, what's going on YouTube? Mr. Football here, and today I have a comparison review video on two football visors. I have the Oakley Football Shield and the Under Armour Football Visor. So both of these visors I've recently picked up, and they're both new models of the current visor that's out in stores. But I basically, first of all, just wanted to look at all the components that each box contains, along with the visor and all of its accessories. Starting with the Under Armour Visor, Here's the visor, I guess we would say naked, with no visor clips and the standard black um, visor tabs that come on the visor. You have your stickers or your other decals that go on. You have red, white, black. You have three shades of blue. You have a silverish gray. Uh, there's your other navy, a maroon, yellow, purple, green, another blue, orange, and brown and then your match to your yellow there and then you also get all your sticker uh, number decals so you can make any number with these numbers here uh, you know attach it with your football number and then you have these extra Under Armour logos here so say you wanted to use the green um, use the green tab here and you didn't want to put your number you could just put a white Under Armour logo on there and then have it match so you have to do that with all the different visors or the different visor visor tabs to have that customization. The other thing you get, which has definitely made Under Armour's visors very prominent and uh, that is their quick release uh, clips that work very simply is just untwisting them and attaching them to the face mask. Then you have the box itself. The Under Armour football visor retails for $49.99. Moving on to the Oakley visor, you have the Oakley visor in itself with its black standard tabs on it. This, the colors are all the same except through the Under Armour visor, you only you do not get a white um, decal on here, which I was kind of disappointed that you couldn't get a white and black uh, decal, but I'm sure that plenty of people on eBay or there's other companies that can you can get them made. So my best bet is to look on eBay, uh, see if you can find a white and black uh, Oakley visor tab if you do want that. One thing you do also get is you get their high definition optic, a uh, little microfiber towel to kind of keep it uh, clean. Then you have your uh, clips here with all the different T-nuts and the screws that go with them. I actually did not like to use these because I preferred to use the Under Armour uh, visor, uh, the quick release tabs, or the quick release clips, I should say. I like to use those a lot better on the Oakley visor. They do work for all styles of visors because the, the visor, basically the standard little hole there that you put your uh, hardware through is all the same. I will say that both of these visors, very good. And what they come with obviously there's just a few little different things that you see in between you know like you get like I mean there's downsides to both personally I love the Under Armour visor and it's quick release clips I love the Oakley visor because it's um, you know it's stylish it's got the it's curved here on the side you can see it's curvature where the Under Armour visor goes straight down I do like on the Under Armour visor that it's tab here up top is obviously a lot shorter and this actually helps it fit on different styles of helmets and face masks where the Oakley visor it's not as tall as I've seen some visors before with their tab up top but um, you always need to you really shouldn't uh, tamper with your visor anyway by cutting it there are other alternatives to making it work uh, there's certain ways of clipping it on there um, I will say Kind of the cons of both of these, I really didn't like uh, the hardware that was included. It was just so much easier for me to put the Under Armour quick release clips. If you want quick release clips, you can find them in a lot of places. They sell them in stores, but here's kind of the packaging for those, just as an example. But uh, I highly recommend those instead of using the Oakley uh, hardware that's included. One thing that I did miss to say was the Oakley visor also retails for $50. So really, I did not find too many cons with either of these visors other than the Oakley 
having the, uh, you know, kind of the complicated hardware to put on there, I would much rather do the Under Armour Visa Clips. Um, other than that, I couldn't really find much to really say bad about the Under Armour Visor either. I've done reviews on the Under Armour Visor before, but really the Oakley kind of comparison was the final uh, comparison that I really wanted to do between these two products. If you guys have any questions on either of these, please leave them down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Mr. Football out.